Hello guys, we are going, now we are back for the fourth video for the organic chemistry uh, for chapter one. Uh, the next thing that we're going to introduce here is a functioning group, okay, classification and nomenclature. So let's have a look together what we are going to learn. So uh, the chemistry of organic compound work based on their specific group of compound uh, in terms of their chemical behavior. So such a uh, group in organic compound is also known as a functioning group, a characteristic group of atoms that is bond predicted behavior, chemical behavior. So for example, we know that alkene has the functioning group of C double bond C. So therefore, it can react with hydrogen under the presence of the platinum as catalyst. For example, if you have propene react with hydrogen, uh, require, uh, that react with platinum, so you form uh, hydrogenations in here. So uh, that is what, uh, if any of the organic compound possess the same functioning group as C double bond C, they will behave chemically the same, okay, as any all of our alkene. So therefore. Uh, if it is reacting with hydrogen under platinum, so the hydrogenations will still take place regardless what type of the organic compound as long as they contain a C and one C in it. So this is important because throughout the functioning groups that presence inside the organic compounds, we can predict the chemical behavior of that functioning group involved. So for a series of the organic compounds having the same functioning group, this series is what we call as a homologous series. So following are a few characteristics possessed by organic compounds for the same homologous series. So number one, all compounds in the homologous series have the same functioning group, uh, therefore the same chemical properties. Now each of the members of the homologous series differ from next series by a CH2 group. So in another, in another words, if it is incomparable to molecular mass, each of the next series differ by the relative molecular mass of 14. So all compounds in the same series may be prepared using the same chem uh, chemical ways. Physical properties show a progressive changes with increase of the molecular mass since most of these compounds are simple covalent molecules. And finally, all compounds in the series contain the same element and functioning group, therefore can be represented by the same general formula. So I'm going to introduce to you a few of the uh, C, uh, functioning group that we are going to learn throughout our organic chemistry for this semester. So let's have a look together, shall we? Okay, so starting from alkane. So alkane has the uh, alkane, which has the functioning group. Uh, basically, alkane do not really have a functioning group because it is only a saturated carbon made of only uh, C and H. So I just put as an alkyl H. So all alkane has the general formula of CN H2N plus 2. So if you have a pentane, so this is how pentane looks like. Heptane, this is how heptane looks like. Then uh, a derivation from the alkane is called as a cycloalkane. So in cycloalkane, it has a general formula of CNH2N. So a cycloalkane is an alicyclic form of the organic compounds. So uh, if it is a butane, so we call it as a cyclobutane. So if it is hexane, we call it as a cyclohexane. Then the next functioning group is an alkene. So alkene has a functioning group of C the one C. So all alkenes should have the same general formula of C and H2N. So for example, hex1 in looking like this, group 2 in looking like this. Okay. Then we have cycloalkanes. So cycloalkanes, uh, almost a cycloalkenes. So cycloalkene is the derivation of alkene. However, it has a general formula of C and H2N minus 2. So if it is a hexagon with a double bond, we call it as a cyclohexene. And if it is a square with a double bond, we call it as a cyclobutene. There is also this compound which contain a benzene ring inside them. For such compound, we call them as an aromatic compound. So aromatic compounds, uh, in here, pardon me for stating that the general formula is C6H6, but that is the at least uh, compounds that it has whenever you have uh, benzene compounds. So uh, the amount of the C and H will be very close to each other in here. Okay. Then the next one is alkyne. So alkyne is actually not in our syllabus. However, students should, should know that the presence of a C triple bond C is called as alkyne, and it has the general formula of CnH2n minus two. So for example, propyne and pen one i Then you also have another um, series of the organic compound which are derived from alkene. So one of the hydrogens is substituted by a halogen, therefore we call it as a haloalkene. All haloalkene has the general formula of CnH2n plus 1x, where x can be F, C, L, B, R, or I. So for example, this is one bromobutane, or this is two bromopentane. Okay? 
Then there is this another uh, homologous series is called as alcohol. So all alcohol will have this functioning group of OH. This functioning group of OH is also known as a hydroxyl compound. Okay. So all hydroxyl compound we have the general formula of CnH2n plus one OH. And if you move the H into here, so eventually it can become CnH2n plus two O. So for example, propan one O, pentan three O. The next one is an aldehyde. So for an aldehyde, so pardon me for the, this one, I'm going to do a little corrections. So the aldehyde has the functioning group of uh, CHO. Okay, CHO. So for the CHO, so um, you should have the uh, alkyne as uh, this uh, CHO as the functioning group. So um, aldehyde and ketones are actually have the same functioning group of C double bond O. And for this C double bond O, they are called as a carbonyl compound. Okay, so a carbonyl compound can be divided into two. One is aldehyde, another one is ketone. Now, if you can see very clearly on what is the differences between an aldehyde and ketone, so an aldehyde will have a C double bond OH, C double bond OH, whereas a ketone is in between two C. Okay, so both of them will have the same general formula. So the next one is a carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid has a functioning group of COOH. So this COOH is called as a carboxyl compound. Okay. So a general formula of a carboxylic acid is CnH2n plus one COOH, but it can be derived into another formula of CnH2NO2. So examples of carboxylic acid that I shows you in here is butanoic acid and also pentanoic acid. Then you have an, uh, a, a derivation of carboxylic acid, which you call as an ester. So ester, if you notice very carefully, it has the same molecular formula as uh, the general formula as in carboxylic acid. So this one we will ex uh, discuss extensively when we reach that chapter. So for the time, you just uh, understand that this is the functioning groups inside the ester. So it has the functioning group of C double bond OOR, okay, which is bonded to another carbon. Okay? Okay, so for example, ethyl ethanoate and also propyl butanoate. Then you also have another functioning group called as an amine. Okay, so amine. So amine has this functioning group. So this NH2 functioning group is called as amino group. So all uh, primary amine has the general formula of CnH2n plus 1NH2, where NH2 acts as a functioning group. For example, ethyl amine and also butyl amine. There is also another class which has almost similar names with an amine, it's called as amide. Amide is actually a derivation of carboxylic acid. So a derivation of carboxylic acid has a general a functioning group of CO and H2. So in terms of structure, it looks like this. Okay. So you have a general formula of CnH2n plus 1, CO and H2. For example, propyl amide and also pentyl amide. So these are all the functioning groups that we are going to learn uh, slowly one by one. So uh, I think um, that is all for the functioning group. So I see you on our next lesson. Thank you.